Okay, beekeepers, this is your old pal, Kirk O'Beal. We're here today to get this swarm out of this pomegranate tree. The swarms are a great opportunity for people who want to have bees and want to become beekeepers. There's probably 100,000 swarms a year in Southern California alone. And it's a good way to get good, healthy bees to start beekeeping. So nature provides, you just need to have a little understanding and some protection so you can get them and Bob's your uncle, away you can go. This is my trusty, dusty spray bottle. And when you spray the bees with sugar water, it's better to have it be a mist than a spray, because you want it to just to cover them with a light mist. They'll take care of the rest. Most swarms, when they land and they're clustered in a tree or, or a space like this, they're preoccupied with setting up a new home. So they're usually pretty calm and docile. They're not disturbed or anything, so they're just kind of hanging there until they decide where to go which is what we're just about to do, is give them a place to go. Well, I always put my bee suit on. That way I never wish the hell I had put it on. Always be prepared and have your suit on. It just makes good practice. Just a nice little mist. It's hard for them to fly when they're wet and when they're sticky. Plus, when bees eat sugar water or honey or sweets, they come more docile and it gives them something to do. They just hang like shingles, you know, if it was raining, the water would just run right off of them. In here somewhere is the queen. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break this little twig off here. I'm just doing this to introduce them to the box. See these guys starting to fan? Watch them, they'll start putting their hind end up and fanning. They're doing the Brigham Young thing. They're saying, this is the place. Now you'll notice they're pretty calm. They're not attacking or going after anyone. They don't want to be on Channel 7 or nothing. They're just rediscovering their new home here. Just one step at a time, little by little by more, getting them in the box. See how they're marching across there and going in? The queen's probably over there. And if she's over there, they'll all march over. Bees like to have a leader. They like to follow the queen. If the Congress could be as organized as bees, we wouldn't have any trouble. Now there's still some bees up here because they're oriented to this spot. So we're gonna shake the rest of them off in a minute. And some will go up and we'll shake them off and eventually we'll get 95% of them in. Bees are living creatures, so we wanna treat them with respect. So essentially, they're in the, the box now. They've, we've captured the swarm. We're just gonna take one of these buckets off and lower it, and they're gonna be going in circles, orienting to the box now. If you wanna find out more about backward beekeeping and the bee club and how to be a, a clean, ethical, organic beekeeper without the use of chemicals, go to backwardbeekeepers.com. Everything you need to know is there. You just have to click. Okay, beekeepers. This is a simple way how you catch a swarm. Make sure you're protected, have fun, and it's a great way for new beekeepers to get started in beekeeping in the spring. Mother Nature provides, and remember what we like to say. Backwards is the new forwards. <laughs>